Hi guys. Uh, so today I just got the SV51 Solar Telescope. As I told you, I'm going to do a review on it. I'm not being paid by this Vivoni. This is just my honest review. I bought this because it was on sale on AliExpress. I got it only for 30 euros, believe it or not. Uh, it comes in this bag. So I'm gonna open this bag now. Okay. So, the telescope, the tube, the tripod. And there's something in this pocket as well. All right, we get an eyepiece, and we get a diagonal. This I, this normally is not 30 euros. I believe this telescope is like I'm not sure if it's of, it's like 100 or 80, but I found it a great deal to be honest. Uh, it's just a telescope made for solar viewing, so as you can see it has a built-in solar filter inside, so you don't have to put anything here, it's just it's made to view the sun only, and this cannot be removed. Okay, let's, let's set it up, open the tripod first. The bag is very nice, that comes with the telescope, it's very robust. So we have, it's an altazimut tripod, as you can see, we have this that you screw in and out to lock the telescope and this to move up and down and you tighten to lock it and it can go up, up and down as well. For this price range, this kind of tripod that you will get so don't expect crazy crazy stuff so you just won't get it with this type of uh, of price here. excuse me there's a lot of wind today now there's a thread here you can tighten Okay, it's set up. As you can see, it goes up and down. This is the find the finder scope is pretty cool on this one. So as you can see, it's like the sunlight comes through here and then reflects on the back. When it's perfectly centered, it should be the eyepiece. This one. We have to remove the cap. And you can use the diagonal, or you can use it straight through. It will work both ways, but straight through, it won't be that comfortable because you have to uh, stay down, you know, to see it. So, we'll use the diagonal. And put the IPs in. set up. Now we just need to find the sun. And I didn't mention, uh, the legs has like this, so it can go up or down. But keep in mind that when you increase the, the length of the legs, it won't be as stable. So if you can, don't do it so high, and it will be a problem. Now, our job is to point it at the sun. Just make sure you don't look. Try to not look at the sun. Point it roughly at the sun. And then, as 
you can see you see the sun here reflecting when it's perfectly centered it should be in the eyepiece going to check And the sun looks orange from it because this is not a butter for solar filter, it's a different kind of filter. So, so all in all, it's a pretty good price and a pretty good telescope for the money. It's very light, you can take it anywhere, like with one hand you raise it up. And uh, the fact that it comes with the diagonal and everything, and the tripod is pretty pretty good for the price as well. You can put this on, on a table, so you don't have to raise the legs, put it on a table and watch that way. And uh, it, will, it will work just as good. And I will include uh, an image of the sun stacked with my SV705C camera from SV Bowie as well. So you will see uh, what this telescope is really capable of. So with stacking, we can improve the sharpness of the image. Like, But with my eyes, it was pretty sharp for uh, for what it is. So that's all for this video. I hope you, you like this, uh, this, uh, this review that I did. And see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.